Hey everyone. So we have this really big deep freeze, but it's kind of empty. So we had the idea of filling it with bags of ice. And the nice thing about filling it with these bags of ice is that if uh, electricity were to ever go out, these bags of ice would melt, but it would also keep the freezer cooler so that it would keep everything in here cool for you know a little bit longer than normal. So we would also have good drinking water, you know, to uh, boil up and then drink. Or we could just keep the ice in here and keep everything good because there's lots of good venison and food in here, at least for a little while. So plus with the bags of ice in there, it keeps the deep freeze running a little bit better because there's just constant cold coming from the ice as well as the deep freeze and just kind of like, you know, going all around the place. So through my experimentation, I have realized that this type of Ziploc or a bag or whatever, hefty bag, whatever, this type of Ziploc bag is not good for water. It has to be something that seals like this. So I, I think this is the zipper or whatever. So I'm gonna show you an example of why this one doesn't work over this one. So this is zipped nice and tight, nice and tightly closed. Well, unfortunately, it leaks, see? It leaks really bad. So if this were to ever, you know, flip upside down or whatever, and you know, not all the bags are gonna be perfectly placed in the freezer like, you know, like this. Some of them are gonna kind of topple and I don't really want water, you know, getting out. So this is not an ideal situation of the, you know, of it leaking like this. But as you can see here with the regular uh, seal, it's not dripping. That, that's water coming from the outside. Uh, it's not dripping at all. I'm giving pressure. It may be dripping ever so slightly here in the end, but it's a lot better than just straight up hose, you know. I would be okay with just slight little bit of dripping like this, but um, the ones that I've already, the ones that I've already done haven't had a problem, so. I mean, this is a much better solution. So see, just them sitting here, I feel confident because they're not leaking out, you know? Uh, they're sitting perfectly fine. So if I did need to lay them like this in the freezer, I'd feel okay. But we're gonna try to prop them up kind of like this. So here's an update from the freezing of the water bags. I'm gonna go show you the freezer right now, but I just wanna quickly talk about, um, you know, the fact that there's probably a bazillion different ways to do this, and I'm probably gonna get a lot of people who are like, well, you could have done it this way, you could have done it this way. Yeah, I'm sure I, there are probably a dozen ways to do it, but we've decided to do it this way. We feel that um, this is the best way for us. So the package that we bought this in came with 38 quart bags. So that's about nine gallon, nine, it's 9.5 gallons. Um, so let's say, because I have to put air in it for expansion and whatnot, let's just say that, um, you know, I got maybe eight gallons worth of water in our freezer right now. That's a crap ton of water that we have in our freezer right now for cooking, uh, drinking, hygiene, anything else that we need. So that's an entirely different set of water that we have for emergencies and disasters. And I honestly think that's, um, you know, it's not not uh not what what am i trying to say you shouldn't stick, shake a stick at that dang pregnancy brain make me forget everything so there's 38 bags of water i just put the last few bags in there uh but this is yeah just straight 38 bags of water let me see i can pull one out without they're all kind of stuck to each other <laughs> that's okay let's move that for a second there you go. So now I can do whatever I want with it. So it's nice, clean, fresh water. I can take it out and, uh, you know, use it for, boil it down to use it for drinking, hygiene, whatever, cooking, whatever my heart desires with that. And it's helping our, out our entire freezer because now there's, it's packed more full. So um, now the freezer isn't having to work so hard. Um, so pretty excited about that. So again, there's probably a bunch of different ways to do this, but this is the way that we've decided to do it. And um, it's actually working out really well so far. 
and pretty excited to use it whenever we need to use it. So uh, that's uh, my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, concerns, anything like that. Talk to you later. Bye.